Kia ora toto katoa. Um, my name's Jade Townsend uh, and I'm a mixed media artist, I guess. Um, I had a show that was going to open at Page this week, which I was very excited about and still am, which is postponed until you know we can celebrate um, the end of Rahui. Um, that show and, and the work that I, I continue making is exploring a lot of uh, feelings around um, displacement and homesickness and borders and basically being far away from the people that you love and um, the lands that you're connected to or lands that you're connected to. Um, I am from, uh, my mum is from uh, Liverpool and my father is from Wanganui. Uh, so I've always grown, was grown up between two different countries. Uh, so a lot of my work is really the clash of those two cultures coming together. Um, and I guess the fight and the struggle between them. And um, it also uh, fibres and materials that I collect and for this show from beaches because I've been spending a lot of time in Thailand, I spent some time in Spain, Ibiza um, and uh, the beach for me is a place where I really feel in company even if I'm by myself I feel really connected to my ancestors and I feel really connected to my whānau and friends all around the world through water um, so it explores the the parts that don't translate into each other very well. Um, so I think, you know, they're the hybrid forms that come out in my, in my mahi. Um, I use lots of, um, I like to think of the beach as an a ancestral plain. Um, and, and the things that I collect from the beach feel like contributions from strangers or ancestors or you know friends other communities far away um, and they give my work so much weight with the history um, of the people who had them before um, there's so many materials that you can use right on your doorstep uh, when you when you want to be experimental um, and so I try and use as many sort of debris and leftover things as I can uh, from like free souvenirs, postcards and stuff that you can collect in restaurants and hotels to like designer packaging left at like the duty free parts in airports or the tax areas in airports and things like that. So I'm always sort of looking and gathering things. And I tend to have a kind of shoebox size full of fibres and bits and pieces um, that I can travel with and constantly be working. So um, when you have things that uh, really disrupt your normal way of working, I think as a creative person you just have to see that as a really uh, new set of rules. And um, I actually don't have a studio normally. I've I've been working from sort of home, wherever we've been staying uh, for the last four years, and I really, really love um, living around my works. Um, it means that I don't collect or buy as many materials and stuff as I used to. Um, I guess a studio becomes like a massive storage room when you're a collage and mixed media artist. So I'm thinking, I think a lot more about everything that I am taking guardianship of and, um, and you know, even if those things are things I've collected for free, um, I really think about, uh, am I going to use them and how am I going to use them? So I just trust my instinct and in the, in the things that I feel attracted to when I am sort of foraging, I suppose, for the materials in my mahi. Um, I love working from home because um, it gives me the chance to sort of live around the works, um, to imagine how, um, I guess how they're going to live amongst other people's things when they find their own homes, you know, their end homes um, after, after a show, um, after they've been collected. Um, I like considering, you know, the domestic space um, just as much as I like considering the, a gallery space that it might show 